Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you clicking on that video as always. And we are back with another rack stall haul and I got lucky and was able to find a fragrance at Marshall's. Now this fragrance actually holds a place in my heart, okay? This checks the nostalgia box with the biggest check mark you've ever seen because this is a fragrance that I actually wore in junior high in pretty much one of the first fragrances I've ever owned. I have yet to see it in a rack store. I maybe have come across it once or twice, never at this price. This is the lowest price that I've seen it. So I was happy to get this size bottle at this price. I couldn't pass it up, I had to grab it. This is nostalgia, as I said, in a bottle for me. Reminds me of the 90s when I was going to school and had a fragrance, thought I was the man spraying it on heavy. Sure, I stunk up the joint, but I think this smells good. I haven't smelled it in years, so this is going to be, I'm hoping, just sort of bring back a lot of good memories. Hopefully not some bad memories, but the scent I am talking about is Polo Sport from Ralph Lauren. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on strip. I'm gonna test it out, see what I pick up from it. Then I'm gonna try it on skin. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on it and let you know if it's still worth it today in 2023. This thing has been around forever. So let's dig into it, see what it does. So like I said, I got this at Marshall's for $19.99. And this is actually a 1.35 fluid ounce or a 40 ml which you don't see many 40 mls so uh decent size perfect for me someone who has a fairly large collection uh 40 ml is going to do the trick and i don't know i don't know if i'm going to like this or hate this i used to love it so let's see so the bottle has not changed really at all from what i remember it as and this scent originally came out in 1994 so as I said, early to mid 90s, this was getting heavy wear for me. Now, what I don't remember is this blue atomizer. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below, the more vintage bottles, do they have this blue atomizer? I don't remember this. I remember it being all silver, I could be wrong. Let's check the atomizer. Not a good atomizer, okay. Wow, very soapy green in the air, but it's it's definitely bringing back memories. It smells almost old school to me, uh, almost like mature a bit. Okay, <laughs> it's so wild how a scent can transport you to a time and a place. Smelling this off of a strip, I imagine wearing all those big logoed mall retail store designers like Tommy Hilfiger, polo, big logo on the chest and, you know, sweatshirts, t-shirts, hoodies, and this, this, this was sort of the finishing touch, the cherry on the top of your outfit. So, wow, this is bringing back a lot of memories. It's tough to pinpoint any specific notes off of the strip, but what I am getting is a very aromatic, very fresh green soapy clean type scent reminiscent of the 90s you know they all had a sort of this underlying um, slightly metallic musk like tommy hilfiger uh and like polo sport i'm dying to get this on skin and see how it changes i do remember dousing myself in this stuff so if you were around me in or around 1996 or 97 i apologize if i choked you out with my polo sport but i thought i smelled good let me get this on skin and see what it does. So up close, it's definitely synthetic smelling. That citrus up top uh, is coming across a bit like a cleaner, household cleaner, toilet cleaner, bathroom cleaner, something along those lines. However, with that being said, there is something, an addictive quality to this that, again, I think it's just the tapping into my nostalgia that it is affecting me in a way that it's reminding me of a good time. Uh, being a young guy, wearing this stuff, hanging out with my friends. Essentially, if you were a guy my age, you had a bottle of this. As this settles in, I'm getting sort of that green, grassy, more soapy feel 
off a skin. I might be picking up a bit of that ginger. Again, very difficult to pick out specific notes on this. It's not particularly strong off of my skin. I remember this thing being an absolute beast. Again, might have had something to do with me taking a bath with it, but I remember it lasting forever on clothes. I mean, I, days later, I could still smell it on my clothes. And I would imagine that this is just as nostalgic for a lot of people like it is for me. There's maybe a handful of fragrances, I would say, in your lifetime that are truly groundbreaking in the sense that it's you attach your youth, you attach certain memories to a particular fragrance, maybe your wedding day or when you graduated or when you had your first baby. For me, this covers a lot of bases. This was, again, junior high, coming into my own a little bit, trying to figure out who you are and where you want to go. And this was a staple. This was on my dresser and it was on many of my friends' dresses too. We probably all smelled the same, but this to this day, man, I, I got to spray it again. Yeah. I don't know. I definitely want to wear this. It just, it's almost too nostalgic. So it's all, it's reminding me of being a young guy. And, and I wouldn't say I'm grown out of this. Cause if I, if you smelled this, it's definitely uh, lavender Ford, giving you that soapy feel borderline barbershoppy with that nineties twist to it. Very green, very aromatic, a little bit of citrus that fades fairly quickly in the top. There's no reason why I can't wear this. I think this is still versatile smelling it. I think it's still covers a lot of situations a lot of guys depending on your age you can wear this but for me because i wore it so much as a young guy I, it almost feels like taking a step backwards but i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing i'm just happy to have it in the collection i will keep it there wear it from time to time might be a nice little workout scent i'm curious to see what my wife thinks of this i will let you guys know uh, in my weekly wears i'll probably wear this uh, this week and let you guys know next week, um, you know, what her thoughts on it were and, and really what the longevity and, and overall performance of this is, because to me, it doesn't smell like it's going to be that powerful of a scent. This has probably been reformulated into the ground. Definitely looking forward to getting a full wear from this. And again, so happy to have added this to my stable of fragrances, Polo Sport from Ralph Lauren. That's all I have today, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what your experience with Polo Sport is. Did you ever own it? Did you wear it as a young guy, as an older guy, as a young gal? whatever let me know in the comment section down below what your experience was if you like what you saw today please be sure to like comment subscribe share this video hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever i upload new content but until then have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video